this might not look like much to you at first. A man walking. But this walk represents a year of hard work, setbacks, and incredible determination. The man is Dr. Joseph Lashley, an ER doctor who a year ago contracted COVID-19. Next thing I knew, I was on the ventilator, intubated for 39 days, had a trach, uh, was, did not see my family during that time period. He suffered a stroke, spent three months in the hospital, ended up at Tier in Houston at the Texas Medical Center, where a team of doctors, nurses, and therapists helped him literally get back on his feet. I think I was just um, taken aback by how, uh, how limited his mobility was, and it really nailed home just how severe the coronavirus is. He was unable to sit up for himself. He was unable to put clothes on himself, getting to the, to the bathroom for shower and toileting. All those things were things he needed assistance with. Starting from scratch, he set goals. Among them, going to the Grand Canyon with his wife and children. Though he admits at first mention, it was a joke. As limited as I was a year ago, I never really thought uh, I'd be doing much of anything. Did I really think it would ever happen? I'll be honest with you, I really did. But as things kept progressing and things kept getting better, I said, you know, we, we probably should try to do this and have a good goal set up for myself and for my kids to really sort of see that we can achieve this. So that's what we shot for and, and we made it. Made it, they did. His determination, his family's support all made a difference. The family took their trip and they took the two therapists with them. This man is really brilliant at setting goals and doing whatever it takes to achieve them. He still needs assistance walking. He is still on oxygen and likely won't work in an ER again, but he is improving. He has new goals and these glorious steps in one of the wonders of the world are just the first of a second chance at life after beating an illness that almost killed him. As we get past the COVID scare, I want more people to get outside and enjoy the things our country has to offer because there's some really neat stuff for us.